So you are officially welcome to my day one of uh, my African Cup of Nations. The hashtag is Afcon on Dell Soccer and also Afcon with Della. Both on uh, all the platforms uh, Facebook, Twitter, and then Instagram. Today, I fortunately got my accreditation. It was pretty much a smooth process. Just as you watched in my vlog, I have landed in Ivory Coast, obviously, as you can see. So I got my accreditation sorted out, and now I've been officially accredited to cover the competition. Today was pretty much a smooth day, but the activities was that the Ivory Coast head coach uh, spoke to the press, and he talked about their upcoming game. They are going to play their first opening game against uh, Guinea-Bissau, I believe. It's a game that he believes that they need to start on the right foot. Also, he was asked about expectations, and he was... Um, like he's measured when it comes to host and win so he's a bit measured on that but when we talk to the locals because when i came I, I spoke with some of the local fans around they are here and they believe that there should be a host and win and one interesting thing that happened is that they told me that they've postponed their christmas and their new year celebration for this african cup of nations so that's what the local fans have done they've postponed their christmas celebration and then the new year celebration for this particular uh, African Cup of Nations because they want to win. So that's it. Other thing that I, I, I observed is the branding and the marketing. So when you speak to the individuals, that's in the people in Ivory Coast, they know that there's an African Cup of Nations happening. But when it comes to the visibility, the branding, you don't really feel it like that. Because I came by road and obviously you would expect it all the way from the border town all the way coming in. But the branding part is not there. You just see one billboard and all that, but it's not really dominating the environment as you would expect. Even when you come closer to the press area, the, where the press center is around this, like you don't really see the branding and the marketing, you know, the branding high up there. I don't want to compare it to the World Cup because World Cup obviously has higher, you know, marketing and all that. But uh that's basically the little observation when you go to the centers where the games are happening like the stadium when you go to the press center you see that there's an afcon there but away from that you don't really get those things around but uh, that's basically my observation but away from that it's going to be an exciting competition we are hoping to get a lot of uh, great content this is just me introducing to you that i am going to come your way you're going to see me often with a lot of content uh, the Black Stars will also be training today, as always. I understand that the teams uh, train only in the evening now because their first game is going to be in the evening. And we're going to be there for the last game, the last training before their last game and also be at the press conference to bring you a lot of updates. So far, there's no injury in the Black Stars camp. There's a uh, good news they train. One thing that I realized also is that Mohamed Kudus, because he didn't train with the team in Ghana, he gets a personal training on countless times to get him ready for the opening game. Because no matter how to do, he needs to be ready. Uh, mood in camp, the players are really excited. They want to see what will happen. And that's what we are also hoping to see, that the Black Stars will make us proud. We spoke to some Nigerian journalists as well. And they, when you talk to them, they, uh, they are in like the Black Stars new, like, where they don't know the kind of... Uh, Nigerian team that will show up. They believe that they have a lot of quality players in the team, but they are not setting on how the team would perform. You know, if you go to Ivory Coast, the journalists themselves are a bit measured on the expectation because the Ivory National team has not been at that top. However, the local fans in Ivory Coast wants the team to go host and win. So we're going to follow them, give you a lot of content around that. Uh, if you have any content idea you want us to also do, don't hesitate reach out to us, we're going to give you content. If you want any collaboration, don't also hes hesitate to reach out to us. We are also ready for any collaboration partnership with any brand and anybody that wants to be part of this AFCON journey. As usual, my name is Delali Frank. Until we meet again, bye-bye for now.